I turned 25 today. Happy birthday to me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday and it's 9-11 in the morning. Don't mind these. I'm going to cut these and make these my side Um, I got a new wig. But anyway, I have my 28 week checkup and the glucose test at 10.50. So I'm going to try to be out of here by like 10.30. But first, um, I just made, I made some tea and a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich and have my ice water here. So I'm going to, I'm going to eat that. Um, I really quickly take my vitamins and then I don't know if I'm gonna put makeup on I'll probably just do my eyebrows and like put some loose curls in my hair I'll be back once I either am leaving to go to the hospital or once I get to the hospital all right guys so I just got home I actually forgot to bring my camera with me, but I'm glad I didn't bring it because I'm annoyed. But um, basically everything was fine with the baby and everything like that. It's just that I am a bit heavy. I actually brought it up to her, my weight. I did notice that I was gaining weight pretty rapidly. So I brought it up to her and she was like, yeah, you are up there. <laughs> So um, I just have to basically, she said just monitor how much I, how much I eat. Don't have too much like sweet stuff, you know, all that. Walk more often because I do walk, but I guess I could walk some more. And she said just get into the habit of eating um, better. That way when I do have the baby, um, cause I'm going to gain weight regardless. She was like, but it'll be healthy weight and it'll be easier for me to lose that weight. So I'm not going to lie. I did feel bad because, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just felt, I was a little bummed to hear that, but you know, it's whatever. So I'm just going to try to incorporate more healthy more healthy foods and snacks and stuff into my diet and i'm gonna have dre help me because he's like you know he's more he's well versed whatever you want to call it in that area so that's that's how the checkup went my mom was telling me not to be too hard on myself dre was telling me not to be too hard on myself but obviously the type of person that i am it's hard for me not to be hard on myself so that was that for that portion of the doctor's visit and then i got i had to schedule another ultrasound because when they did the anatomy scan they didn't get a good look at her spine she said someone should have called me but that was a month ago when i got the anatomy scan and nobody called me but whatever i guess because of everything that's going on maybe I don't know but that's on Thursday and I was supposed to do my glucose test today but I had tea this morning and I always put um um creamer and a little bit of sugar in my tea so when I went down to the lab the lady asked me and I'm glad she asked me She's like, did you have any sugar today at all? Or any um, um, sugar or something else she asked me if I had. And I told her, I said, well, I made some tea. And I put a little bit of sugar in it and I had some. So she was like, well, they give you this amount of pure sugar. So there is a chance that you could. One, seven, zero. Yeah, she was like, I do not recommend that you take it because you don't want to um, have them. Because you have to wait one hour after you take it. If something's wrong, then you have to take a three hour test. So she was like, you don't want to you don't want to have to 
have basically like a false alarm and have to take a three hour test for no reason. So she um, told me that she would recommend that I come in um, another day. And when I do come in, don't have any sugar or any, I think she said carbs or something. She was like, if you still get sick in the morning and you have to have breakfast, she said, have any meat, sausage or something, or like turkey bacon or whatever, and an egg, and then come in for the test. That way, there's no sugar or anything like that in my system on top of whatever they're gonna give me for the test. So I was like a little annoyed because no one told me that. I don't even remember being told that when I was pregnant with Dylan, but I'm glad she spoke to me, so I'm going to come back. Today's Monday. Dre works tomorrow, so I'm going to come back on Wednesday. So, right now, I'm just chilling, looking up stuff to get her room ready. So, come on, pick up my sock, man. So, this is how the room looks when we first come in. I'm going to show you guys. So we kind of just changed it around a little bit. So obviously this is the door when you come in. As soon as you come in, you see, don't mind my Christmas socks over there. You see um, my desk or my whatever area, beauty slash whatever. And then we have a couch here. Mind you, we got this couch and this stuff before I was pregnant. So we're just gonna have to figure out how to maneuver everything to fit but yeah so that's 28 weeks we're 28 weeks today oh yesterday seven months third trimester we're almost there i'm so excited i have to be right now i'm so excited but yeah so i'm gonna check in with you guys to um on wednesday when i go do this lab or on thursday after i do the anatomy scan again and i'll just give you guys a briefing for both things after i do the anatomy scan hey guys so it's thursday the 14th yeah so let's get into what happened today i'm supposed to be at the hospital at 9 a.m. for this freaking ultrasound and I have to have how many ounces 32 ounces of water in my 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 in me for this freaking ultrasound so mind you my bladder is full I'm about to pee on myself I'm tired so I'm there at 9 o'clock because she says, oh, you're good for Thursday, May 14th, 9 a.m. for your ultrasound. This is all the stuff you need, blah, blah, blah. 9 a.m. Right? Just to show you that I'm not crazy. So I get there. They call my last name and they're like, oh, well, we had to cancel your appointment because you were supposed to be here at 8.30. I'm sorry, can you repeat yourself, ma'am? What? Did you say? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I can get you at 3.30. Book me at freaking 3.30. Just go ahead. I don't even care. I didn't go there for no reason. I was still able to take the glucose test. So I'm trying not to worry about it because it's like it's out of my hands now. So I'm just praying that everything comes back okay yeah that's that he got a good look at her spine you know everything is fine she's measuring at 28 weeks in one day and i'm 28 weeks in five days so she's good she's doing good um yeah so it's 8 o'clock. I'm going to make some dinner. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I honestly don't feel like eating anything. I just want a cup of ice. A nice big cup of ice. Sit out in my bed. Watch the office. That's 
all I want to talk about. Today is Monday, and the last time I spoke to you guys was, I think, Thursday. That was the day that I took my glucose test. Um, and I was a bit worried because you did say that I was on the heavy, on the higher end, um, weight wise. So I thought that was really going to play a negative part in the glucose test. I took the test on Thursday. They called me back Friday morning. I missed both of her calls. So she left me a message and I'm thinking she's just going to tell me what the results of the test was. She didn't tell me. She's like, Joel, just call me back. She gave me a number to call back. I called the number and it's an unmanned phone. So nobody answers that phone. You just leave a message and they get back to you within one business day. So now I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh, she didn't tell me the results in the voicemail. So it must be bad because she didn't tell me. If it's something serious, she's going to want to tell me, like, herself. She's not going to say it in a voicemail. So, like, I'm distraught. I'm crying all day. Um, so, I was able to um, sign up to the hospital's portal to communicate with my my doctors and the nurses and everything and for Dylan too I put his name up there and his information so today and obviously like that that department is closed on the weekends so I would have to wait oh I waited all weekend um and I'm thinking she's gonna call me back so I didn't get a call back yet so I called the hospital and she wasn't in this morning so he's like, oh, just wait till she comes in this afternoon. I'll leave her a message and she'll, and she'll give you a call. 12 o'clock comes, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3. And I didn't hear anything from her. So I'm like, you know what? I messaged her through the, um, the patient portal thing. And like they I, they immediately got back to me i'm like hi i just wanted to um follow up with the results of my glucose test um and she's like oh you came in at 102 which is very normal when i tell you i had the biggest sigh of relief the biggest smile on my face and today's my birthday so that was like good news on my birthday so i was so happy I, I was just so relieved. I was so happy. You guys have no idea. Well, some of you, you know, may understand. Some of you are moms. Um, some of you, you know, you get it. So, I was just really um, happy. I'm still, you know, trying to monitor how much sugar I eat, how much I eat, period. So... Just smaller meals throughout the day, not um, like not doing the, the the big meals, like the big breakfast and then the snack and then the big lunch and then the snack and then the big dinner, you know. So, you know, whatever I eat, whatever I expose my to myself to, that's what she's exposed to. And, oh, she's moving. Oh my, god. oh my god she has been moving so much like all, almost all day besides when she like i guess goes to sleep or whatever but when she's awake she is like Brr. i'm like what are you doing what are you doing there it's like in my rib case and sometimes you can see it like like move. <laughs> it's hilarious but I, I know that she's doing okay um, so obviously I'm not like going on a diet or anything. I'm just going to be more aware of what I put in my body because, you know, like I said, whatever I take in, that's what she's, um, going to take in. So we only want the best for our princess. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because y'all saw I was stressed out. 
I would suggest that. But, and, uh, you know, better news, like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm a little up there in my weight. My mom said, you already gained the weight and nothing you can do about it now. Just, you know, be cautious for the remainder of the pregnancy. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to stress about anything because if I'm stressed, then she's stressed and she don't need that. So I'm just trying to keep a positive mindset throughout the remainder of this pregnancy. Continue to go on my walks. Today I couldn't walk because it was raining all day. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm in Georgia. So, yeah, it was just raining all day. So, I'm not walking in no rain. But, tomorrow, I'm going to take a nice little stroll. We'll go over to the mailbox. Maybe walk around the block a little bit with Dylan on his scooter. Yeah, and just, you know, because we're getting to the end of it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We'll start getting her room ready. We're in her room right now. Um yeah and we are registered um with target if you guys don't know i said that in another vlog i think the previous like whatever i mentioned it i'll put the information um you can just look up my name when you go to the registry part you can just look at my first and last name i'll have it here on the screen and i'll have the link directly below in the description box so you can just click click it click it click the link if you want so yeah that's basically it i turned 25 today happy birthday to me i oh, i'm gonna show you what um my husband got me this mirror it is bluetooth like check me out y'all it's bluetooth i think it's connected to my laptop hold on and he got me this cute lamp it, it has like a thing you can charge your devices he he's just so cute and he got me this rug in here hold on let me turn the light up he got me this rug it's really cute so yeah my dress my mom sent me this dress so that i could wear it today just so i can you know feel cute can't go nowhere because we're all under quarantine but yeah this is the dress this is the dress look at my stomach guys it is ginormous it got so big so fast so fast it's crazy how fast this is all coming to an end and i'm I love being pregnant right now. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Um, today was great. I didn't need anything crazy. This is enough. What my husband got me was enough. Especially that good news that I got was more than enough. It made my day. I was so, so happy after I got that, the, um, got those results. But she did say my iron was a bit low. She's gonna she already put in an order for my iron tablets. What else? We don't care about that. I'm <laughs> I'm playing. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know what's going on. We are 29 weeks now. We're at the 29 week mark. Ten weeks and five days away. Could be more, could be less. Who knows? Only God. But yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please um give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and follow me on my social media my instagram my twitter that's the only thing i really use i don't really use snapchat like that but yeah follow me so that we can stay connected and we can talk so i don't do anything here <sighs> yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video